In this video I will check out all the settings for the Maono PD400X. That includes all the software features with and without a pop filter and of course the XLR output also with and without a pop filter. Bear in mind that you can only use the software features if you use the PD400X via USB. With XLR they are not accessible. With that out of the way, let's start with the software features if you use your microphone via USB. If you connect your microphone with your PC and open the Maono Link software, it will automatically detect your device and you will be greeted with a tab that looks something like that. We have two different tabs, the standard and the advanced tab, um, but we will start with the standard tab for the moment. One could say that the standard tab is for people who don't know that much about microphones or about microphone settings, but I would argue that um, I don't know that much about microphones myself and I even I understand the simple settings presented in the advanced tab. So if I can do it, you can do it too. Anyways, let's start with the standard tab. You can select the tonality of the PD400X up here under tone. Uh, we have deep, natural, bright and legacy. And I will just click on deep and you can listen, you can make your own opinion how you like the sound. This is the deep sound of the PD400X. This right here is the natural sound again of the PD400X. I was speaking in the natural mode all the time before that. Now we switch to the bright mode. This is the bright tonality mode for the PD400X. And this right here is the legacy mode for the PD400X. Um, they don't really tell you any specifics about this modes, what they do. Um, you can kind of hear it, what they do, but they don't really give you any specifics. So this is how the legacy mode sounds. My personal favorite is the bright mode, I have to say. I think, uh, at least with my voice in the bright mode, I really enjoy this microphone a lot. That's basically it, what you can do with the standard tab. I will go back into neutral. You can, you know, adjust the distance here. So if I put this to mid, it just gets a little bit louder. So I should go a little bit further away. And in far, I can even go further away. I would personally go to near because I'm quite near right now. And yeah, this is my settings if I use the microphone with the standard tab. In the advanced tab, you can add an equalizer to your microphone to shape the sound of your voice. You can also select the gain quite specifically. You also can add a limiter or a compressor, but um, I will not really feature this feature, but I will not really check them out because everyone has a different preference and you have to select the settings by yourself. If I click in it, you can see that you have to select everything by yourself. Same goes for the compressor. If I click into it, you have to select everything by yourself. So everyone would use a different setting. And so I can't really compare the, those settings. Everyone has a different preference. I like the way Shure does it in the Shure Plus Motive app a little bit more because figuring out compressor settings is kind of complicated, especially for someone who buys a microphone, in this case the Maono PD400X, to simplify things. So I don't really bother with that and I will not, you know, touch the compressor in this video. But I will check out all the equalizer settings in a second. So let's test the EQ settings. What you were hearing all the time was the EQ in flat mode at a gain at, of 60%. This right here is the high pass filter with the PD400X and a pop filter, of course. This right here is the presence boost with the PD400X. We don't use a high pass filter, just the presence boost and, and the rest of the EQ is flat. And this right here is my personal favorite with this microphone. It is the high pass filter and presence boost I really enjoy the sound of the microphone in this specific settings. Um, I don't know if it's just that my voice and the microphone works well together in this mode, but I really enjoy this mode a lot. This is basically all the settings with this microphone and the pop filter. And right now I will go through all the settings again, but without the pop filter. So this right here is the PD400X, again in the standard tab 
with the tonality set to neutral and the distance set to near. I will not change the distance, but I will change the tonalities right now. So like I said, this is the neutral setting. This right here is the deep setting without the pop filter. Again, the deep setting with the PD400X. Let me know how you like that. This right here is the bright setting with the PD400X and without a pop filter. So this is how it sounds. Let me know what you think about that. And this right here is the legacy mode with the PD400X, um, the distance set to near. And again, I don't use a pop filter. So let's go back to neutral. This is neutral again. And yeah, that's basically all in this standard tab. Now let's go back to the advanced tab. This right here is the advanced tab. Um, the EQ is set to flat and the gain is still set at 60%, um, but I don't use a pop filter. As you can see, this is the EQ in flat mode. This right here is the microphone with a high pass filter, nothing else, just a high pass filter. Gain is still at 60%. This right here is the PD400X with a presence boost. The gain is still at 60%, but I don't use a pop filter as you can see. And this right here is my most liked setting with a pop filter. I don't know if I really like it without a pop filter. Anyways, the gain is still set at 60% and this is still the PD400X. So let's go back to the flat EQ. This is the flat EQ. Let me know in the comments which setting you like the most. We will now switch to the XLR version of this microphone. So this right here is the PD400X used via its XLR port. And I really have to say, this really amazed me. I really think that this microphone si sounds awesome, at least with my voice um, through the XLR port. I really enjoy it and I personally really would only use this microphone with its XLR port because I just th think it sounds better. But of course you also buy this microphone because you can use it via USB-C or USB. It's great to have both worlds and I also think it's great that the XLR world of this microphone is so good. So what do you think sounds better, the microphone via XLR or the microphone with a specific setting um, via USB? And this is how the PD400X sounds without a pop filter. I'm not really a big fan of the microphone without the pop filter because you can hear the pops. Peter Piker picked some pickles. I don't know this sentence, uh, but you know what I mean. You have some pops and I'm not a big fan of that. And also the pop filter reduces some of those lower frequencies and I kind of enjoy that. So I will definitely use the pop filter in the future with this microphone. But let me know in the comments what you think, which setting did you like the most, USB, XLR, with equalizer, without equalizer. Let me know, I'm really interested in that. I also reviewed the PD400X, so if you're interested in that, check out my review. And if you like my content, a like would be appreciated. It really helps a lot, so thank you for that. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of the day and stay safe.